Hi mama, question for you. Have you been thinking about starting a blog, wanting to start a blog, but just don't know how to start a blog? If so, then this is your lucky day. I'm Candice Lynn and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the four steps you need to know for how to start a blog from scratch in under an hour. So before I get into it, let me just quickly say, this is my very first video on a brand new channel for a brand new blog. And while I have a big vision for what I want it all to look like and be, I don't have everything in place yet, and I don't even have it all figured out yet, but what I do have is a valuable message that I know can benefit a lot of moms out there that are in the same situation as, as me, working from home or being a stay-at-home mom, and want to start your own profitable blog. So because I have that experience and that knowledge, and I, I want to share that with, with everybody who can benefit from it, I'm starting. Even though I don't have it all figured out, I'm starting now. And the reason that I share that with you is because I encourage you to do the same with your blog. If you still are, are trying to figure out things like SEO and email marketing and web design and blogging and all this other stuff, then don't worry about all of that now. Because trying to get it all figured out ahead of time is a great way of never starting. So let's start today with this with this video. And like I said, I'm gonna walk you through these four steps. And then I'm also gonna link up in the description box and at the end of the video, a free blog setup guide that you can download and take with you that will walk you through the steps as you go. And um, at the end, I'm also gonna give you a little bonus tip for, for turning your blog into a profitable blog. So stick around to the very end. All right, so let's get into it. Step number one is get your own hosting and domain name. Now you might be asking, what about those free sites like Blogger? And if you're, if you're just a hobby blogger or you're just blogging for fun, that's fine. But if you want to build a profitable blog, you'll need to get your own hosting and domain name. So hosting and domain will cost you between five and $15 a month. Your domain name is about $15 a year. And um, I leave a hosting company that I recommend and that I personally use in that blog setup guide I mentioned at the end of the video. And if you use them, you get a free domain name for your first year. Um, however, regardless of which hosting company you choose, whether it's the one I recommend or a different one, make sure it has a quick and easy WordPress install option. I'm gonna get into that in step number two, but um, make sure your hosting provider has that option. Okay, so step two, as I said, is WordPress. Install WordPress onto your domain. And what WordPress is, is a content management system. And all that means is it's the vehicle that allows you to add your pages, your posts, your pictures, and um, your look, your design to your blog. So that's free, it doesn't cost anything extra. Just make sure, like I said, your hosting provider um, has the ability to have a quick and easy WordPress install because that's gonna save you a ton of frustration. Um, okay, so moving right on. Step number three, and this is your theme or design for your blog. You don't wanna just leave it as, um, you know, as it comes kind of out of the box because it's gonna look like you know, a million other blogs out there. So WordPress has thousands of free themes for you to choose from, and um, it can get a little daunting searching through all those. So I recommend a couple that I've used, um, and then I have those also in my, in my free resource guide that um, I have the download for, it, um, for you at the end of the video. So make sure you use one of those. They're responsive, they look great. You can use any one you want, but those are two that I personally use and recommend and they're free and it's gonna give you a great look to your blog. Okay, step number four, we're down to the last step. All right, so if you've made it through steps one through three, your blog is live online, but it's not much of a blog. It doesn't have anything there yet. So step four is putting content on your blog and that's in the form of pages and posts. Pages are things like your about page, your home page, maybe a resources page, a terms and conditions page. So those are sort of the static pages of your blog. And posts are things like, um, that are gonna you're gonna share your knowledge, your experience, your stories with your audience in the form of blog posts. So for me, this video is all about how to start a blog. I'm gonna also have a blog post on my blog at candicelynn.com and that post is going to be how to start a blog. It's going to accompany this video. So that is an example of a post. So I recommend you having five posts to start with so your blog doesn't look like a ghost town 
and um, you're also giving your audience value from the get-go. And moving forward from there, you can determine your own publishing schedule. However often you want to publish posts, you can determine that, but start with five. All right, so we've made it through those four steps. If you can make it through those four steps, you're gonna have a blog online. You're gonna be in a great position to build and grow a great blog. But here's where my tip number five or step number five, my secret little bonus tip is, thank you for hanging into the end. And this one is build your email list from the start. You may have heard this before, but if you build your list from the start, it's going to enable your blog to become a profitable blog. And we'll go into all of this in future videos and blog posts, so we'll flesh it all out. But for now, just know that, that you need to have that from the start. So use a service like MailChimp.com to um, incorporate that into your blog. They have a WordPress widget that you can easily install that into your blog. Um, and it's free, so st start free. When you're starting out, start free, except for your hosting and domain because that's hard to transfer later on if you don't start with um, you know, the, the hosting and domain of your own. So everything else is pretty much free to get started. So, so do that, get started, use these tips that I've given you. And I'd love to hear from you, where are you at in your blogging journey? Are you just starting? It's my son in the background. Are you just starting? Are you in the middle of it? Um, what kind of questions do you have? I'd love to know, leave a comment in um, the comments below and also like and share this video if it helped you and um, thanks so much for watching i look forward to seeing you on the next videos and have a great week mama